I'm going through and showcasing my top five loadouts in Black Ops 6 that you should be running. Just like my top five videos for Warzone, I just want to let you guys know what you should be using. And these are builds that are discussing in multiplayer and that I think are going to translate very well into Warzone. But before we get into that, I do want to give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang. Without further ado, let's hop directly into it. All right, before we get into the actual top five list, I do have an honorable mention for you guys. We have the Compact 92 SMG, super fast fire rate, and you are just shredding through people. As you guys can tell, I am in a private match because I did just enter into Prestige 3. So I don't technically have these unlocked, but I do already have them diamond. But like I said, this thing has a super fast fire rate. So with that, it does get pretty bouncy. So for the first attachment, I would end toss on the compensator for our muzzle, giving you guys a massive boost for that vertical recoil control, which if you guys check the detailed stats gives you 23% for the recoil gun kick and 25% for the vertical recoil control, making it to where the compact isn't moving whatsoever. For the second attachment, I would end toss on the long barrel. There's so many different ways you guys could do this. I feel like there's really no wrong way to build a weapon in Black Ops 6. But like I was talking about in the intro, these are builds that are super good in multiplayer right now and that I think are going to translate very well into Warzone. Then, of course, super fast fire rate. So you guys are flying through your ammo. You can honestly toss on anything you want here. Extended mag one, two or three. Obviously, for multiplayer, you don't really need extended mag three or two. For Warzone, you could easily toss on two or three. But I would hand toss on extended mag one because a mag size of 40 is more than enough. Then obviously, multiplayer wise and SMG wise, you want to be as fast as humanly possible. So I would hand toss on the CQB grip for our rear grip, giving you guys a boost for that dive to fire speed slide to fire speed and sprint to fire speed and of course for the last and final attachment i tossed on the balance stock giving you guys that aim walking movement speed movement speed hip fire movement speed and strafing movement speed literally making you guys faster in every possible way it's giving you guys seven percent twelve percent eight percent for that movement speed crouch movement speed and aim walking movement speed but that's my full build for the compact 92 smg like i keep saying over and over this is honestly disgusting right now in multiplayer either core or hardcore but i also believe this is going to be super good in warzone once we get that on november 14th so definitely try out this build but like i said that was our honorable mention so let me get you guys the actual top five list at number five we have the ak-74 assault rifle one of the best assault rifles in the entire game already and another weapon that is super good in multiplayer that i think is also going to be very good in warzone so for the first attachment we are going to start off with our optic which like i always tell you guys is 100 personal preference you guys can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with but so far for me in black ops 6 i just think that the kepler microflex is by far the cleanest Obviously, I'm probably going to run something different when we get to Warzone. But like I said, for multiplayer, this is the cleanest option, in my opinion. And a lot like the compact, the AK definitely does have some bounce to it. So I went and tossed on the compensator for our muzzle. Again, giving us that massive boost for the vertical recoil control, making sure the AK isn't moving whatsoever. And for the next attachment, I went and tossed on the long barrel, giving you guys a big boost for that damage range. This is all personal preference, though. If you guys do want to, you can definitely toss on the gain twist barrel, giving you guys a boost for that bull velocity. But in my opinion, for the rest of the attachments, the damage range barrel is the clean your best option and the reason why it's the best option is because i'm also going to toss on the overpressured ammunition giving you guys a boost for that bull velocity which this mixing in with the damage range barrel makes it to where the ak really isn't bad at anything and of course for the last and final attachment we have the extended mag one like i was talking about the compact obviously with warzone we're probably going to run the extended mag two or three but for multiplayer it is just completely unnecessary so go ahead and toss on the extended mag one so you don't have to reload after every single kill but that's my full build for the ak-74 assault rifle and my loading number five so same thing here make sure you guys go through give the entire bit of try and tell them the highest kill game you guys get with it let me get you guys loaded number four next up at loading number four we have the pp 919 smg aka the pp bison super good smg right now in bo6 and another weapon that i think is going to be super good once we get to war zone so for the first attachment starting off with the muzzle i'm gonna go ahead and toss on the suppressor the build already has zero recoil so i feel like it's not really necessary to have a compensator or a muzzle break so the suppressor is really nice keeping you guys off that mini map for the next attachment i'm gonna go ahead and toss on the long barrel which so far i've had this on every single build making sure the pp919 is hitting harder obviously like i was saying with the ak you could definitely toss on the bolt velocity barrel but for an smg i don't really feel like it's necessary for the next attachment obviously the pp visor the pp919 through all the cods is known for having a ton of ammo so we're not going to toss on the extended mag one i'm actually going to toss on the fast mag one giving you guys a boost for the ads speed and that sprint to fire speed making you guys a whole lot faster and speaking of being faster just like the compact 92 we're going to go ahead and toss on the cqb grip for our rear grip giving you guys the exact same pros and cons just like i was saying before if you check the detailed stats gives you 23 percent for that sprint to fire and 53 percent for that slide to fire and just to add on to the speed for the build we are going to toss on the no stock attachment giving you guys that hip fire movement speed movement speed and that strafing movement speed overall an extremely fun build to use that you are flying around the map with it has zero recoil and fantastic damage so same thing here make sure you guys go through give the entire bit of time the highest kill game you guys get with it that's our loaded number four let me get you guys loaded number three next 
Next up, we have another SMG with the C9, which if you guys don't know, is actually the MP5. One thing we know about the MP5 every single year for Call of Duty is it is always disgusting. It's super good right now in Black Ops 6, and it's going to be very good in Warzone as well. So for the first attachment, I went ahead and touched on the compensator for our muzzle, giving you guys a massive boost for that vertical recoil control, which I was also running this on the AK and the compact. So if you guys check the detailed stats, it is giving you guys a massive boost with that 32% for that recoil gun kick and that 35% for the vertical recoil control, which is perfect because the recoil pattern on the MP5 is definitely more vertical than horizontal. So this is making sure the MP5 isn't moving whatsoever. And for the rest of the build, I kind of focused on just being extremely fast. So for the underbarrel, I would end toss on the Ranger foregrip, giving you guys that horizontal recoil control and that sprinting movement speed. So not only is this making you guys faster, but it's also mixing in absolutely perfect with the muzzle, making sure you have even less recoil. And like I said, I just want to be extremely fast. So for the stock, I did toss on the no stock attachment, giving you guys that hip fire movement speed, movement speed, and that strafing movement speed. And speaking of being faster, we're also going to mix it in with the CQB grip for our rear grip, giving us the exact same pros and cons as our last few builds, just making you guys way faster around the map. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we are tossing on the extended mag one, which I'm going to keep saying it for every single build. This is more than enough for multiplayer. Obviously, when we get to Warzone, you're probably going to want the extended mag two, but this is perfect for BO6 right now. That's my full build for the C9 SMG, aka the MP5. Like I was saying before, the MP5 is never bad in Call of Duty. So if for some reason you guys haven't already, go through, give the entire bit of try and tell them the highest code game you guys get with it. That's our loader number three. So let me get you guys loader number two. Next up, we have the XM4 because you can't have the MP5 without having the M4. Same thing applies. The XM4 or the M4 is never bad in Call of Duty. So of course, it's super good right now in BO6 and it's going to be super good in Warzone. So for the first attachment, like I always tell you guys, it's 100% personal preference. You guys can run whatever optic you feel the most comfortable with. But for me, I'm pretty much every build. I absolutely love running the Kepler Microflex. And for the next attachment, I am tossing on the suppressor for our muzzle. Like I was saying with the PP919, this build already has zero recoil. So there's really no reason to toss on the compensator or the muzzle brake. And this is going to keep you guys off that mini map, which is always super useful. And for the next attachment, just like pretty much all my builds on the list today, I am tossing on the long barrel, giving you guys a boost for that damage range, making sure the XM4 is hitting harder. But if you guys want to take a little bit less damage range and you want some bull velocity on top of that, you can toss on the reinforced barrel. And like I was saying with the muzzle, the build already doesn't have any recoil so just to make sure it has zero recoil i did go ahead and toss on the vertical foregrip giving you guys a massive 40 percent boost for that horizontal recoil control making sure the build isn't moving whatsoever and of course for the last and final attachment we have the extended mag one which 45 bullets is more than enough for multiplayer and honestly might be enough for warzone as well but of course we do have the extended mag two and three like i keep saying over and over it is just not necessary for multiplayer but that's my full build for the x and four assault rifle i'm super excited to see just like warzone one if we have like a secondary meta with this but it's going to be super good in Warzone, just like it is in BO6 right now. So make sure you guys go through, give the entire bit of try and tell the highest code game you guys get with it. Let me get you guys loaded number one. And in that number one spot, we have another weapon returning from Warzone 1 with the AS Val Assault Rifle. Right now in BO6, the damage on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. By far the fastest killing weapon in the entire game. And one of the things I love is in Warzone 1, it would have been by far the dominant meta if it had a bigger mag capacity. And in this game, there is bigger mags on it. So for the first attachment on the build, I am tossing on the suppressed reinforced barrel so not only is it keeping you guys off that mini map but it's also getting you guys closer to hit scan and making sure the as foul is hitting harder and this build does get pretty bouncy so i would toss on the vertical foregrip just like the x and 4 giving you guys a massive boost for that horizontal recoil control making sure the as valve is way more controllable and like i was saying a second ago they actually added three different extended mags so now the biggest mag option is a 45 mag which if we had that in warzone one it would have been 100 the dominant meta obviously for multiplayer i'm only going to toss on the extended mag one because that's more than enough but when we get to war zone definitely tossed on that extended mag three for the next attachment i'm actually tossing on the ergonomic grip giving you guys that slide to fire speed dive to fire speed and that ads speed just making sure the as valve is a whole lot faster obviously i'm probably going to build it a little bit different when we get to war zone but i feel like for multiplayer i just want to be as fast as humanly possible and this is a perfect attachment to do so and speaking of being faster we are going to toss on the no stock attachment mixing in absolutely perfect with the rear grip just making you guys faster in every possible way overall the fastest killing weapon in the entire game Game right now you do unlock it at level 55 so you guys might want to use a permanent unlock on it i do think i'm going to build it a little bit different once we finally get to warzone but right now this is my build for multiplayer so make sure you guys give it a try and let me know the highest kill game you guys get with it also let me show you guys what perks i'm running so for my perks i like to stack all one color so you get your specialty perks so for my perk one i toss on ninja making you guys super silent around the map basically dead silence perk two we have tracker because in my opinion it is the best blue perk for the perk two and it's super useful when you're running around the map perk three i 
cost on vigilance again just stacking onto the blue perks which if you guys don't know when you stack all three perks you unlock the recon specialty which basically gives you guys legal wall hacks when you first spawn in and is way more useful than you guys would probably ever expect then obviously i am tossing on perk greed so i can run dexterity reducing your weapon motion while you're jumping sliding and diving and also taking less fall damage but i will say if you guys want to you can definitely toss on ghost for this perk making sure you guys aren't showing up on uavs but overall that's the perk package that i'm running in multiplayer i'm not too sure how the perks are going to be in warzone but right now that is the perk set that i'm running